Hi all, Leanne here. In this video I want to share with you what my typical morning routine is with Theo. Now Theo is nearly four months old and so it's taken us a bit of a while to get into this routine. I think we've maybe been doing it for the past few weeks, I don't think it's quite been a month yet. Um, but it's working really well for us. So the first thing is that I get up when Theo gets up. He sleeps next to me in the next to me crib, we have one of the Chico next to me and he sleeps there. And so I tend to get up when he gets up, which is around anywhere really between 7am and 7.30am. And then the first thing we do is I get Theo changed, washed and changed, ready for the day, and obviously change his nappy. <laughs> then we open up all of the curtains, let in all of that light, just so that Theo knows that it's the morning. We let in the light and it creates such a lovely kind of start to the day when you welcome in all of that sunshine. Hopefully it's sunny. Not always the case in the UK, but recently we've been having nice weather. So we do that. The next thing I'll do is to then feed Theo and he has his bottle in the morning. And then after that, we'll, that's time for fun. So we'll play on his play mat, we'll read, we may sing, we'll play with any of his toys, but just so that we get some of that quality time together in the morning after he's eaten, just to kind of play, let him use some of his energy, kick around, develop his skills. Um, then after that, it's usually time for Theo's nap. He will nap in the morning for anywhere between, say, an hour and two hours. I get two hours on a good day. And while Theo's napping, that's when I do all of the things that are a real priority for me. So firstly, I will do some exercise. Exercise has always been quite important to me. I quite like to be quite fit and healthy, but I think even more so now that Theo's here, I really want to make sure that I look after myself so that I have a good number of years ahead of me with him, stay healthy. And also so when he's running around, I can run around with him without getting too out of breath. So after I've done my exercise, and that exercise can be anything really, whatever I feel like doing that day, I may go on the cross trainer. I'm lucky enough to have one of those in our home gym in our garage. Or I may do some yoga stretching. I may do some walking, some kind of a circuit with any of like the kettlebells or anything like that that we have. I tend to probably go on the, the cross trainer. That's my, that's my go-to exercise. But really I try and mix it up a little bit here and there. So after I've done my exercise, I will then try and take some time to have a shower, make myself feel fresh for the day. Now, when Thea was first born, I found it really difficult to find the time in the morning to actually shower because I was so worried about leaving him while he was sleeping. But now we've got the monitor set up and so I take the monitor with me and make sure I have that time to do that for myself in the morning. Then I'll try and eat. It's so important that you look after yourself. I remember in the beginning when Theo was first born and I would struggle to find the time to eat. Even when he was sleeping, I didn't quite understand it, but I probably still wouldn't eat. Um, so now I make sure that I have something to eat as well. And a nice hot cup of tea, which is always nice. <laughs> then after I've eaten, I would typically do some journaling. So I have a book of inspirational quotes and I like to find one of those for the day. Really take that quote in, think about what it means to me and then journal about what I want my day to look like, all the lovely stuff that I maybe have planned, the things that I want to do, stuff that may have happened the day before that I want to reflect on. But it really is just some nice time just to reflect and also just to think about the great job that you're doing. You're looking after a human and I like to remind myself that actually it's a wonderful job, it's not always easy. And so just to remind myself that you know, Leanne, you are doing this and you're doing a great job, so keep going. So it's really nice. And it's nice to have that record um, of the time that I've been spending with Theo so far. And so then after my journaling, I've done all the things that I may want to do for myself. Then I'll start thinking about whether there's stuff around the house that needs to be done, whether that's the washing. Nobody tells you how much washing you have after you have a baby. Theo, for somebody so small, creates so much washing. So I'm, there's always washing to do. So I get that done. The dishwasher, washing bottles and sterilising, all of those things. Anything that Jermaine may not have done in the morning. He's pretty good and he does a lot of this stuff in the morning for me before he goes to work. But just in case he hasn't, then I will typically get on with that stuff. Now you may have seen that I prioritise doing stuff for myself first before I do stuff around the house. And that's really because... Um, I was reminded when Theo was quite young that he relies on me. So for me to be my best for him, I need to look after myself. 
And that's why I do those things, get my exercise, do my journaling, make sure that I eat, keep myself clean and fresh, just to make sure that I'm doing the best for me so that I can do the best for Theo. Now, this morning routine may evolve as Theo drops a nap. I may have to integrate him more into my morning routine rather than trying to do it when he's sleeping. But at the minute, that's how our morning routine goes. And what I'll do is I'll keep updating my morning routine as Theo gets older and we do different things, just so that I keep it up to date for you guys. And please do let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything in this video. If you like it, hit the like button. And if you think any of your friends may benefit from looking at this video, then please do share it with them. Also subscribe to our channel. Hey folks, we hope you've enjoyed this video and took some really great ideas to help you on your journey through life. We'd really love to hear from you, so leave us a comment. And if you want to continue on the journey with us, then subscribe to our channel.